Good morning, my name is Steven. We're back here at Disneyland. We made it in. We're here with Lewis. We're here with Precious. Of course, John over here. Yes, his name is John now. We're here at the cast member preview. Thanks to them for getting us in. Wait a second. Did he just say cast member preview? So you're telling me that these two took this guy to Disneyland for a cast member preview? You've got to be kidding me. Also, doesn't preview mean before? Well, let's take a look at the calendar. As you can see, this happened at the end of April, almost a month ago. Shouldn't this video have been uploaded, I don't know, like when it happened? Yes, this video is coming extremely late and everyone has already shared everything there is to know about Disneyland. In addition, it's almost been a month since I was at the parks. I'm a little outdated if we're being honest, but I still get a lot of questions about Disneyland. So I thought I'd share my experience of being back at the parks. So that way you can learn from it and have an even more magical day than I did. But before we talk about being back at Disneyland, we've got to go back in time, back to the fantastic primeval world. Okay, I'm just kidding. We just got to go back a little bit. Tickets and reservations. They're really important, but I know most of you understand it, so I'll make it as quick as I can. In order to go to Disneyland, you need a ticket and a reservation. Thankfully, they've made this a lot easier than when they first released it. Before, you had to buy a ticket and then make a reservation, completely separate. Now, when you purchase a ticket, the reservation will be made at the time of purchase. Good job to Disney for making it a lot easier, just after the fact. Don't worry though, if you need to, you can cancel your reservation. The ticket will still be valid, so just make sure you go and reserve an Another day. Arriving at Disneyland. For those of you who are going to the Mickey and Friends parking structure, be warned, it's an absolute nightmare. I've run into lines that take forever to get through, and with no trams, it means a really long walk. While there's two options, deal with it or try an alternative. If you're going to deal with it, good luck. I've attempted to work through that mess multiple times, and I find myself getting in at least an hour and a half after I arrive. The problem is, the parking structure isn't exactly clear on what time it opens, so I'm not entirely sure what they're doing yet. My word of advice is to try to get there as early as the parking structure opens. Just good luck on trying to find when that happens. The other option is to park at a parking lot separate from Disneyland. Places such as the Anaheim Hotel or the Anaheim Garden Walk have been popular choices. Be sure to arrive early and don't be surprised when the parking lot is full. But it also allows you to hop in line early. The harbor entrance starts queue at 7 a.m. And if you're lucky, they have in the past allowed guests to enter the park earlier than the 9 a.m. opening. It just depends on the day and how things are going. The third option is to use public transportation. Here's a suggestion from a comment I got in my last video. I don't know anything about public transportation, but hey, maybe it's something we should all be looking into. Boarding passes. This is the topic that I probably get the most questions about, so I'm gonna try my best to break it down. For those of you who don't know, Disney has implemented a virtual queue system for really popular rides. This goes for Rise of the Resistance, Indiana Jones, and of course, the new Avengers Campus ride, Web Slingers. If you want to even think about going on these rides, you're going to need a boarding pass. Don't worry though, they're really easy to obtain. All you have to do is have your ticket and reservation linked ahead of time to the Disneyland app. Then at 7 a.m. and 12 p.m., boarding passes will be released. They go really quickly though, so you're gonna wanna be on exactly at those times refreshing the page. You do not have to be in Disneyland or on Disney property to join. Just have your ticket and reservation linked ahead of time. If you have a park hopper, you won't be able to join until 12 p.m. since park hopping doesn't actually start till one. Don't worry though, I've missed 7 a.m. every single time and I've found that 12 p.m. is a great time to join. If you're lucky enough to join, you'll be assigned a boarding group number and you'll have to wait until they go through all the groups ahead of you. Once your group is called, you'll have about an hour to get in line. It may sound like a lot, but trust me, it's worth to go through all of this for each of those rides. The return to Disneyland. Now that we've gone through all the boring stuff, we can talk about one of the greatest feelings there is, being back at Disneyland. But that's something you can only truly understand by being there. I've missed that castle so much. Disney World castle is cool and all, but this is the original castle. You can't beat the original castle. There it is, the first ride of the day. We've made it. We 
just got off Pirates. I have to admit, I was a little flustered when we first got in because just being back in the park was just really overwhelming. I mean, I was on the verge of tears. Not really. But I was super excited, was so crying. I wasn't crying. He was crying. He was there's hiding no, it. There's no video proof of it. He was, he was sobbing. It was like him watching Marley and me when the dog I only died. Cried oh, one, spoilers. I only cried <laughs> once in that movie, so it can't be true. In my last video, I talked about how lines would probably be pretty short as far as wait time is concerned, but the line would look kind of outrageous because of social distancing. Definitely looking that, looking that way right now. We just looked at Haunted Mansion. It was, it's, uh, it's way out here. So it's Pirates, actually. Characters like to pop up randomly, so there's Tiana, for example. Oh, yeah, good eyes. That's way far away from my camera to pick it up. But Tiana's over there, you're bright. Anyway, so we're on our way to, where are we going? Snow White. We're going to Snow White. That's what we're doing, which is new. It's updated. Brand new and improved. It was Snow White's Scary Adventures, but now it's Snow White's Enchanted Wish. They're trying to take a more lighthearted theme. It's supposed to have a better ending, because if you don't remember, the last one kind of doesn't have a great ending. I don't have any footage of it, but you just have to take my word for it. Quick story bio, Lewis wasn't parking. That's that's how we're here. He's the cast member that got us in. Wasn't parking, now working in Fantasyland. So if you see him, say hi to him. What are you doing here? Yo, it's a small world after all, huh? Boom! Mobile order for dining. Now I'm gonna be honest, you're going to have to use the mobile order through the Disneyland app. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is find where you want to eat and then place an order. You'll be prompted to select an arrival time and then you can order what you want off the menu. You can do this way ahead of time or as you start heading over to the restaurant. Once you get to the restaurant, you'll be prompted on the app to say you've arrived. Then they will start preparing your food for you. Once it's ready, you'll be notified and you can head over to the window and pick up your food. Got it. Sheesh. Sheesh. And sheesh. And sheesh. Pretty good day. Sheesh. <laughs> 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 Alright, so we just finished up lunch at Galactic Grill. We actually split away from Lewis and Precious. They ended up like mobile ordering way ahead of time for Plaza, which is way smarter than what we did because we got off the train and we went right over and just mobile ordered on our way there. And it wasn't that bad of a wait, thankfully, because Galactic Grill isn't that great of a place. So I don't recommend going there, but if you need a place to eat, I guess it might be good enough to go. No. No? <laughs> you wouldn't go there again? No more than... Maybe not. Maybe not. Cardboard. <laughs> Maybe go somewhere else, actually, then. AP does not suggest it. Anywhere else. It's like a rock. <laughs> but since we're separated right now, we're just gonna hop on space just really quickly for fun. <laughs> oh Hi. Hi. What happened there, buddy? My hat. Man, it flew off. Took flight. It's gone to space. <laughs> so it is already 4 p.m. The last time I checked in with the vlog was about 1. You're probably asking yourself, what were we doing? We were walking all around Disneyland Park doing a full walkthrough video. If you're interested in that, feel free to check that out. Now back to whatever the heck we're gonna go do. So let's go. <laughs> Health and safety measures. Attention. We're going on Star Tours. And it's weird because the queue line is absolutely empty. Looking towards the future, Disney will be starting to loosen and change some of their policies at Disneyland. This will be starting June 15th when California is also loosening restrictions. Social distancing and masks will still be required at Disneyland. This will not be going away on June 15th and will still be in place until further notice. One policy that will be going away is temperature checks. Before, they would be checking for guest temperatures at the entrance. Now, after June 15th, they will no longer be doing so. One of the biggest questions has been who can visit Disneyland. Well, until June 15th, only California residents may visit Disneyland, but after that, it will be open to out-of-state guests. Is it worth it? The Disneyland that we have visited in the past isn't the same Disneyland that we'll visit today. There's a lot more restrictions, lower capacities, less experiences, yet it's just as expensive as it was before. But can we really put a value on Disneyland? Maybe Disneyland isn't about taking a picture with your favorite character, or riding on your favorite ride, or even watching the iconic fireworks show. Maybe it's about grabbing a friend, or your family, or someone that you can share memory with, and leave today, and enter the land of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy.
there you have it. That's the end of our day here at Disney. We've just been sitting in front of the castle, enjoying the view, not in any rush to do anything, just relaxing. Something that we haven't been able to do on Main Street for way over a year. It has been a long year, but at the same token, it feels like we never left. I am super excited now that Disneyland is back open, that we can come back as many times as we want. Granted, we don't have a pass, but that's okay. But the magic is back, and that's all that's important. People are smiling, they're happy, we're happy, no regrets. Best day at Disney thus far. As always, this isn't a goodbye, but just a see you real soon. I don't have the arm strength. Bye. <laughs> what language did you take? Is it French? Oui, je ne sais pas. Welcome to It's a Small World. I don't know. Sign my mouth. Your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. It's and really please cool. watch your children. What else can you say? Je ne sais pas. Is that it? Mm, petit. No, I mean small. Oui. I can speak French. No. Como dice, idiot. <laughs>